Hello everyone, uh, let's do some Bible study. Today I want to go over Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Because I think it is very important that we understand this verse. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 is one of the most quoted verses in the Bible. The problem is that verse 10 is left out almost all the time. Omitting verse 10 takes away the full meaning of the message. And you begin to wonder why is this so and whether it is intentional omission or people are brainwashed because of much repetition by the pastors of the verses 8 and 9 without verse 10. Perhaps it is because verse 10 states an idea contrary to their doctrinal belief. Let's read Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. No one is making an argument against this. It is clearly written. But is this the end of the message? Certainly not. Verse 10 follows. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Yes, we are not saved by our own effort, but through faith it is a gift of God. However, after you are saved, let me repeat that, after you are saved, meaning once Jesus Christ abides in you, if you are born again, you are to produce good fruits or good works. You are to follow his steps, the steps of Jesus Christ. Let's go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. He that said he abided in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked, even as Jesus walked. 1 Peter 2, 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, living as an example that you should follow his steps. We are predestined to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Romans 8.29 Grace is not given to you so you can use it as a cover to walk in the flesh meaning sin. Let's go to Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 13. ESV. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness, worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, godly lives in the present age waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good works is the evidence of Christ in you. What is inside is reflected on the outside. We Christians must be zealous of good works that we may not be unfruitful, Titus 2.14 and 3.14. Jesus said, John 15.5-6, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. 
We can do nothing without Jesus Christ abiding in us. If He does not abide in us, we will be unfruitful. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Verse 6 If Christ does not abide in you, you do not belong to him. Let's read Romans 8 9. You, the Christians, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If, in fact, the Spirit of God dwells in you, anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. You need to be born again. I'm going to quote some verses that really it doesn't need much explanation. I want to provoke a thought in your mind so that you may go and look it up in your own Bibles and try to really dig in deep into the Word of God. Let's look at Colossians 1.10 That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Being fruitful in every good work. Let's look at a verse in the parable of the sower. Luke 8.15 but that on the good ground are they, which an honest and good heart, having heard the word, kept it, and bring forth fruit with patience. This is the seed that fell on the good ground, the word of God. The word of God is a seed. Let's go to Titus chapter 1 verse 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Faith without works is dead. Faith without the evidence of good works is dead. 